What's up guys, my name is Sean, welcome to my tech channel. Today we are checking out this projector by a company called Three Stone. This projector sells under 100 bucks. I think with the coupon code that they have on Amazon is about $72. And I have reviewed a ton of different projectors at this price point, but this one has one very cool and unique feature that it got me really excited about it. And that's why I said yes to this review video. If this is the first time you're stopping by and you enjoy tech content like this, you might want to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification so you won't miss my future videos. As a matter of fact, I know about 98, 99% of my viewers that watch my videos, they don't subscribe. So if you think you like videos like this, just go ahead, subscribe and turn on the notifications to see if you're going to enjoy the future videos. Now, I was able to negotiate and try to secure one brand new unit to give away to one of the lucky viewers and stay tuned for the instruction for um, uh, that giveaway at the end of this video. Every time I check out a projector, there are a few things I'm gonna look at to try to see if I would recommend this or not. Obviously, considering the price point, I'm gonna take a look at its video quality, audio quality, the connectivity and the ports that are available, the overall design and the user experience and the user interface. The unboxing experience is fairly straightforward. Uh, the box that um, you get, it has this uh, pretty cool handle that uh, as you are going around and about, or if you wanna store this, you can comfortably carry this with you. When you open up the box, you are presented with the projector itself that is nicely wrapped and protected. And then you get this accessory box. Inside the accessory box, you have all the necessary cables, such as an HDMI cable, power cable, uh, owner's manual, and your remote control. When you look at the top, you have your keystone adjustment, as well as your focus ring. Then you have some of the buttons and a D-pad to be able to navigate the different menu options. And then on the left side, you have your ports such as VGA, USB, HDMI, micro SD card, and then uh, an AV port and an audio jack. On the other side, you have your power port, you have an exhaust fan, this is where the heat will come out. And then in the back, you actually have these two fairly uh, large speakers. Uh, this is a hi-fi 5 watt speaker that you have and we're going to talk about that uh, in a little bit. Both in the front and in the back you have this oval uh, kind of like frosted glass. This is your IR port so when you're watching your movies you can actually use the remote control because it will receive signal both from the front and from the back. At the bottom you have these four uh, rubber legs. Then you also have this adjustable leg that you can screw in and out and then you also are able to mount this directly into your tripod as well small touch but very necessary this is a 720p uh, native resolution now when you're on amazon looking at some of the marketing images that you see for different projectors they may say supports 1080p you want to keep in mind supports 1080p all it means is your input source can be 1080p but the actual projection may not be so you want to look at the native uh, resolution. The native resolution of this projector is 720p, which is absolutely ideal for any kind of gaming, uh, watching a football game or watching any movies. When it comes to presentation, um, such as Excel sheets, charts, and things like that, I personally recommend and prefer uh, a native resolution of 1080p and higher for that, but that doesn't mean you cannot use it. Okay, so let's talk about this focus ring and the keystone. So focus ring obviously is very straightforward. You just dial that uh, in and out to try to get the right focus distance and get the sharpest image. Uh, the other dial is, so this is where it gets a little bit interesting, is the, this keystone adjustment. Let me tell you briefly what that is. When you have your projector exactly at a zero degree angle and you're projecting straight into a wall, which means you have to have this raised a little bit, such as sitting on a tripod or a countertop, then you have a keystone adjustment of zero degrees. But the moment you start having this projected a little bit higher or lower, what would happen to the image, instead of being a perfect rectangle, you're actually gonna have these edges to be pushed in or out. And with this keystone adjustment, you're actually able to go ahead uh, bring these edges back inside or outside to get the perfect rectangle you're looking for. Whenever you adjust the keystone, let's say I have this uh, projecting higher by let's say about five degrees. If I'm trying to adjust the five degrees and bring these edges back inside, then your, uh, your focusing distance gets a little bit skewed a little bit. So for example, if you adjust the focus ring to focus for what is at the top of the image, 
then the bottom of the image may be out of focus. So there are two solutions for that you want to keep in mind. One, if the keystone is just not too bad, it's just very minimum, just leave it alone. That way you get the sharpest image possible. But if you do adjust it, then go ahead, try to use the focus ring and look at something in the middle of the screen and focus for that. And then when you're watching a movie, you're really gonna, not even gonna notice that the top or bottom may be slightly off. When it comes to the menus, and some of the user uh, interface, it is very straightforward, nothing unique or special about it. You can adjust your, your audio profile, your video profile, if you're watching standard, vivid, uh, or you can manually go ahead and adjust the saturation, color, brightness, and things like that. You can do that with uh, your remote, obviously, but you can also use the buttons at top of your projector to make those changes. One thing really cool just mentioned, and again, these are the small touches that I think makes this projector a little bit exciting. When you are watching um, a movie in a dark or dimmed room, sometimes it's going to be hard to actually locate the buttons. Um, the buttons at top of this projector, they actually are backlit. So even the room is very dark, you can identify the buttons. I was actually impressed and surprised how good the audio sounded um, coming out of a, a budget projector. These are hi-fi 5 watt speakers and they definitely are louder than you would anticipate or expect out of this tiny device. One thing to keep in mind is the speakers are projecting towards the rear. That doesn't mean you're not gonna be able to hear it. Trust me, it gets very loud and it's very clear. You're not gonna be disappointed with the, with the loudness of these speakers, but just keep in mind they are rear facing. But first, this is a yearly recap. Let's make this a little bit more official. There we go. So first, let's dive right into the analytics and I'm gonna tell you a lot about what happened last year, but I'm not gonna leave you hanging. First, let me tell you how much money I made from YouTube back in 2020. And one last thing about the video quality I forgot to mention is the brightness of this projector. Um, in my studio right now, I have uh, one, two, three, four lights on that I'm filming this video. When I was trying to project this and capture the video quality, I still had my main light, which is this massive light I have um, off the camera right here, and my hair light back here, they both were on, and I tell you, this thing was vivid, this thing was bright, and that was a bit of a surprise for me. I don't know how many lumens this thing projecting. When I'm editing, if I figure that out, I'll put it somewhere on the screen for you as well. Now let's talk about the connectivity and one very, very cool feature that this projector has that I have not seen it in even some of the more expensive projectors I have reviewed in the past. So obviously you have your standard port. You can plug in some of your devices that way. Most other projectors, if I'm trying to stream from my iPhone, I have to um, connect one of those dongles. With this thing, I can actually mirror my iPhone or even Android devices into the projector, which is really cool. The way it works is you will go to your Wi-Fi setting and try to look and connect to the projector. The projector kind of like creates and broadcasts its own Wi-Fi. The password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once you connect, then your phone will kind of like detect this as an Apple TV. I don't know how they do it, but it's really cool. Then if you go to your setting and you're trying to go mirror your iPhone, then you have an Apple TV option that has the name of this projector. You simply select it and it's just like mirroring and streaming to any other Apple TV devices. The fact that I can stream wirelessly audio and video to this projector and this thing costs only about 72 bucks, it is incredible. Uh, and that by far is my favorite feature of this projector. Before I forget, let me tell you about the uh, drawing instruction. It is super simple. First things first, you gotta go ahead, subscribe to my channel, and yes, I can see whether you're subscribed or not. Uh, then I want you to drop a comment, let me know why you wanna win one of these, and then uh, head over to my Instagram account, send me a DM, and just say the name of the company, which is Three Stone, and I'm gonna put it somewhere on the screen as well. And that's all you need to do. So this was it guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully I did not miss anything about the content of this uh, review. If I did, I'll make sure later on, put it in the description below. But also if you got any questions for me, anything in particular you wanna know about this projector, uh, ask me down in the comment section. I'll do the best to try to get to every single one of you guys. And before you log out, if you have not had a chance to like this video, that is the best help you can give me if you wanna support me and my channel. I cannot thank you enough for watching my videos. Have a good day and I'll see you in the next one.